Hello, and welcome to Interactive CAD and Tech. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the measurement tool on Shaper 3D because it's got an, uh, quite a few nice features. Um, if you found this tutorial helpful, uh, please do hit that subscribe button. All support's appreciated and it helps me keep the channel running. Um, so just to get started, I'll just show you what I've drawn here. So if I go to the view cube and show you around. So I've drawn this really odd, random shape. Ju well, just to give you an idea of how you can use the measurement tool and how you can go about using it to your advantage when you're drawing or designing. So just to get started, I'll just go around to an isometric view. You've obviously got measurements here on the left-hand side, so if you click that, what that does is br it brings up on the right-hand side a measurement tool. So there's a couple of things you can do with this. You can just click something you want to measure, and it comes up with the length there. If you click an edge, if you click a surface, it comes up with the radius and the surface area of a fillet. Same with a face, it's surface area. If I click that cylinder, it comes up with the diameter and the surface area as well. So if I click something that's really important, for example, this edge here, and then go back to measurements, it's 53 mil long. Say that's an important dimension. What you can actually do is click this little pin on the right, and it'll keep it in a list for you. So then I'll do the same again for this circle. And what you can also do to select pin measurements is if you click pin point to point measurement, highlight a surface, and then click two points on that surface, it'll put a dim in for you. So the idea is your essential dims that you need to keep um, are always highlighted. So what I'll do is tick that. So now these dims are live. So if I edit anything, so for example, if I move that up, that 81's got bigger. And then if I move that in, so they all, up, um, you can click show all to get the full list and they're all up to date live on the model, which is really good. But so if I click off measurements now, they all should disappear, which they have. So for example, if I start editing this model, and you want to perform a check on it, say you've got some tolerances you need to check or something similar, you can just click measurements again, and they all pop up in a full list again, and they're all your key measurements that you need uh, when you're modeling. So it's a f I thought I'd just do a quick tutorial because it's a very nice feature of Shaper 3D. I've not seen, uh, I've seen similar things on other CAD softwares, but not quite as good as this one. Um, so I hope you found this little tutorial helpful. If you have, uh, please do subscribe to my channel where there's more stuff like little tips and stuff to come. And thanks for watching.